All right. What we got today, we got is a 1968 Dodge. Okay. Now, what happened is you've already seen the situation we have. The owner had uh, rebuilt his motor. He's paid over five thousand dollars to re completely restore that motor back to original uh, number matching code with low compression pistons and sleeves and camshafts and factory OEM uh, NOS parts, this, that, and the other. Now what happened is he bought a factory bolt kit to replace all the bolts with brand new bolts and one of the bolts that he replaced was too long and kept on putting it in, putting it in and it went right in through the cylinder wall. So when he put water in it, what happened, it filled the fucking uh, pan up with water, you know, just kept filling it up because it was going in that hole. And then, of course, he only had to start it for two minutes. So when he, anyway, he pulled the motor out of the car. He's depressed. He's pissed off. He's fucked up in the ass all in one, okay? So what happened is he pulled the motor out of the car. Him and uh, his helper pulled the motor out of the car. And what do you think happened? They fucked the paint up on the firewall, which is way down low once the motor's in the car. You'll never even see it. But to these type of guys, you do see it. So if you look right here, you can see, okay, this pretty much, let's just pretend we're looking at that, but on the right side, okay? When he pulled the motor out, of course, it gouged the paint over here on this fender well. So I went ahead and repaired that. Now what I did is I took my body hammer and this was actually dented and I went ahead and dollied it out and then I put some Evercoat on it just to feather it in. I don't know if you can see that right there. Okay, and then I block sanded it from 80 grit all the way down to 320. And then, if you look right there, that's where the big boy hit, right there. See, he was pulling the motor out and bam, right into the firewall. Uh, there's really no way to pull that out because it's got the air conditioner unit in the car now. I'm not gonna pull the dash and everything out. And if you look right here, you can see that everything's already installed in the car. And there's the air conditioner unit right there, and it's up under the air conditioner unit. So I went ahead and pulled it out the best I could with my dent puller, and then I feathered it out with some uh, Evercoat Bondo mix. And basically, this is where we stand. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and we're gonna paint this with base coat clear coat, because the last time that I painted it, he didn't like the way it looked, so I went ahead and did it with base coat clear coat so I could color sand and buff it. But over here now, we're gonna use single stage urethane because that's what this is painted with. And we gotta blend this section into all this section. Now I've removed all the uh, all the AC lines and I've removed everything possible that I could. We'll be taping all this off and uh, it's just a big fucking joke. It's a big fucking joke to redoing something like this. And uh, I think it's basically my opinion, it's fucking unnecessary, okay? Uh, I might be able to see this getting redone, but this down here, I just can't see it because it's all hidden, you don't even see it. I probably wouldn't touch that up with a fucking brush. That's my opinion. So we gotta take that area off, and I gotta go get my tape machine to do that. So I'll go ahead and outline everywhere that I'm gonna paint. Because this type of tape off job is a real, real mess. And it'll probably take me an hour just to tape off this uh, inner fender well so I can paint it. Do you see what I'm trying to say? It's just a big situation that's a situation. Uh, but that's the life and times of a concourse restoration. That's how it is when people want their car perfect. Okay, is this car perfect? No, it's not, okay? No, it's not perfect. But it's, it's as close as perfect can get, all right? And uh, 
to go to this extreme, you know, that's just how some people are. And that's how some people want to play the game. Because they want to be Mr. Perfect. And to be truthfully honest with you, I, I'm just really sick of talking about it. I'm just really sick of talking about it because probably I'm fucking sick of looking at this car. Okay, I, it's been here three years, all right? I was actually uh, feeling pretty uh, confident that the owner would be able to get it running and driving so he can get it out of here, okay? But uh, that didn't happen, so now it's going to be here for another fucking however long. Just a ridiculous situation when you're dealing with this kind of... Frustration and... I'm speechless. about this. I think I've already made a video the last time I had to fucking repaint it. How many times do I got to repaint something? How many fucking times do I got to do it? It's an unquestionable, unanswered question, okay? We don't know how many times. As many times as it takes to please the fucking customer. That's how many times I have to do it. Okay, we just got our uh, fender well taped off. And basically, let me show you something here, because see, this is another situation we have. All right, if you look real close, you can see that I've had to basically tape off the whole car to do this. Now, I, my friend Pete, last chance Pete, Southwest Rod and Custom, Southwest Paint and Body, Dallas, Texas, is doing it the right way. I'm gonna go ahead and clear coat that whole thing after I paint it due to the fact that the magnitude that this fucking car is going through it would be a waste of time trying to blend the paint and then just spot clearing it because later down the line uh, it's not gonna look right. So if you're gonna do something like this do it the right way okay. I work on cars as if they were my own fucking car okay. I work on this guy's car just like if it was my car because that's the way that I've always been. So what I got to do now is I fixed the imperfections and what I got to do now is uh, I got to spot seal that. Yes, I'm going to use some epoxy sealer because I don't want, even though that we're going to paint this whole thing, what's going to happen if you look real close right in that area there, you can see where there's a spot of bare metal showing. Now what the deal is with this, okay, and another reason I'm frustrated and pissed off is because this is basically fresh paint. It's been approximately a month and a half since this was painted. That's not fucking good news for us. That's not good news because it's basically really not thoroughly uh, dry, okay? It's not really cured 100 and 1,000 percent. If it was a year old, all I'd have to do is scuff that down and I wouldn't even really have to put uh, any sealer on it. I mean, I would, but I'm just saying I wouldn't have to. But the reason I'm actually putting sealer on it is because where I busted through the paint right here in this area, 
And right there, what's gonna happen if I don't put sealer on that, it's gonna crinkle and peel around the edges, okay? And we don't want that to happen, because then we're gonna be fucked in the ass. Be fucked in the ass. Be fucked in the ass. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and put some sealer on that. And then I'll go ahead and uh, repaint the whole fender well. And then I'll go ahead and clear coat it. And then tomorrow, or the next day, I don't know when, I'll come back and color sand above that and then that'll be done. And then we'll have to go ahead and do our little dent on the firewall. And that's another day and another fucking story. So this little fucking episode right here with these Two little imperfection. I've been working on this car now for a fucking week. Count them, okay? One fucking whole fucking week on this fucking car right here, fixing three fucking scratches. Do you see the situation now? Mom and Pop is going fucking broke. Mom and Pop is not the corporation, okay? It's fucking bullshit. 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 Is he gonna pay me to do this? I fucking hope so. I'm gonna give him a bill. We'll see what he says about it, okay? But uh, until then, my friend Pete We'll make sure the motherfucker is done right. My name's Pete, and this is Bruno, and we're over at southwestrodcustom.com.